Pajama Party for Two, Part 3, a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you have not heard the previous two parts of the story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. A special thanks goes out to Lilo Chan for allowing the use of her art in this video. A link to her Tumblr and her DeviantArt is in the description box. No. No, 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 Adrian thought, staring at his clothes in fear. He had just spilled juice on his shirt, but the only thing he had to change into was the Cat Noir onesie in his bag. Nobody would put it together if I walk home in it, right? He sighed and slipped into the library's bathroom to change. The only people he would need to avoid are Marinette, for obvious reasons, and Alia, because there's no way she would leave him alone without a photo. He threw on a pair of sunglasses to be safe and buttoned up the onesie over his stained shirt, wishing he could casually wear it in public instead of being full of anxiety. But would it be such a bad thing? He thought to himself. The only two people who knew of its existence were Marinette and Ladybug, and he wouldn't mind the latter knowing his civilian identity. But Marinette? He didn't want to risk it. She treated Cat Noir differently than she treated Adrian Agrest, and he didn't want to lose that. The princess and the cat relationship they had meant too much to him. He poked his head out of the bathroom and saw that the coast was clear. Adrian tiptoed out and, once he was outside the school, sighed in relief. A few more blocks and he would be home. Fortunately, the gorilla was waiting with the car and, for once, he was glad that father insisted on him being chauffeured from home to school and willingly got inside. He furrowed his eyebrows in confusion as the mansion grew closer. His bathroom window was open? That's strange. Did I leave it open after last night? He rushed upstairs, completely forgetting about what he was wearing. He opened the door to his room and, to his surprise, Ladybug was sitting on the sofa in front of the TV. He froze, looking down at his outfit in panic. What should he do? She hadn't noticed him yet, and this was the perfect way to reveal himself. So why was he sweating so much all of a sudden? Flag, claws out, he whispered. She turned around at the glow of light from the corner of the room. Cat? she exclaimed obviously not expecting him to be there. Hello there, bugaboo. If you're here for a PJ party, you should really wear them. You aren't wearing yours either, she said. What are you doing here? He looked down and realized that the suit had transformed over what he was wearing, per usual. I was wearing them before I transformed, he chuckled. I could ask you the same thing. I'm waiting for Adrian. Yeah, but why? He asked, plopping down on the couch next to her. I have a thank you present for him. Really? For what? He sat up quickly. Ladybug must be in a giving mood recently, he thought, feeling his face grow hot. For whatever reason, Ladybug giving Adrian something seemed like a bigger deal than a present for Cat Noir. Yeah, he's about the same size as you, so I made him some muffins to thank him for coming over and trying them on for size. I'm sure he'll like them, Cat smiled. Ladybug's homemade baked goods? Score! So what about you? What are you doing here? How about we play a game? Are you trying to change the subject? Nope. If you guess why I'm here, then I'll buy you lunch. But if you can't guess why I'm here, then you have to go put on your ladybug onesie. <laughs> You're ridiculous, she laughed. But I'm all for free lunch. How many guesses do I get? Three sounds fair. All right. You're here because you saw me enter the aggressed household. Nope. Hmm... You're friends with Adrian? Nope. He watched as she sat and pondered for a bit. He wasn't sure what to expect, and the more time passed, the harder it became to resist the urge to fidget. 
I give up. I can't think of another reason. Really? No other guesses? Not even a wild one? Well, okay. You're here because your civilian identity is Adrian Agrest, she joked, jabbing him in the ribs. It felt like she had poked all the air out of his lungs as she did so, because he was left breathless at her answer. Congratulations, bugaboo, he said softly, bringing himself to look her in the eye. I owe you lunch. Her eyes grew wide as he detransformed, and his catsuit turned from leather into cotton. Adrian? she whispered, leaning in to touch his face. Are you disappointed? he asked, scared at the answer. No, not at all. I just didn't expect you to be him. You're awfully calm. I think I'm in shock, she said, leaning back into the couch. So you know me then? Personally? Yes. They sat in silence for what seemed like hours before she stood up and pulled out her yo-yo. Wait, Adrian said, grabbing her arm to stop her. Please, don't go. He was surprised to see the tears in her eyes when she turned around. How should he respond? What could he say? Was there something he could do to make her stop crying? Adrian closed his eyes as he pulled her towards him, awkwardly bumping his lips onto hers. As far as first kisses go, it certainly wasn't the worst, but it could have gone better. She looked up at him in surprise, her hand flying up to cover her face in embarrassment and taking a few steps back. She muttered something he couldn't make out and, in a flash of light, a girl in a red ladybug onesie was standing in front of him. Ladybug? he whispered. Her hood was covering her face, and he could see her shaking. Would you be okay with doing that one more time? With a person like me? The girl asked, tilting her head up so Adrian could see her face. Marinette? She was shaking and crying, and he didn't know what to do. Was she crying because he kissed her? Was she shaking because she was scared of disapproval? He raised his hand to her face and tipped her chin upwards for a better angle, stepping in to close the distance between them. He felt his heart pounding, and there wasn't a doubt in his mind about his feelings towards her as he once again pressed his lips to hers. They lingered together a little longer as Adrian felt the impact returned and realized she was standing on her tippy toes to kiss him back. The feeling made his face break into a smile, disrupting their kiss, and he pulled her into a hug, lifting her off the ground. I'm glad it's you, princess, he whispered. I'm glad you're you. Thank you so much for listening. This was a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. I hope you enjoyed this mini-series. In the meantime, you can check out other series in the videos below. I'll catch you next time.